hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome and if you've been here before thank you very much for coming back my name is emily and i'm currently a third year medical student at dnipro medical institute in dnipro ukraine my last video was on how you could apply to study medicine or dentistry at dnipro medical institute through medlink students so today's video is on how you could apply for your visa to go to Dnipro in Ukraine. So if you apply through Medlink students, you should receive a guidance document on how to apply for your visa. So this video would be a summary of the document, but I would implore you to please go through the documents you will be sent at the time of your application just in case there's been some changes so that you could actually have the accurate information as at the time of your visa application once you apply to the Nipro medical institute and you've received your admission letter from the university and also your invitation letter from the ministry of education in ukraine now you can apply for your visa to go to ukraine the type of visa you'll be applying for is the long-term type d study visa you need to come into ukraine on this type d study visa for you to be able to apply for your residence permit which allows you to stay in ukraine for the duration of your degree for your visa application you need to have your invitation letter from the ministry of education in ukraine you should have received the original invitation letter from the ministry of education through the post it usually takes up to 30 days for this invitation letter to be issued the invitation letter has a validity of six months and you need to apply for a visa within these six months or at least a month before the invitation letter expires the application process for this visa will be different based on the part of the world in which you're located but there's a huge similarities between each country for the purpose of this video i'll be concentrating on how to apply in the uk visa application in the uk can be made in london and in edinburgh you can apply in london through vfs global it's a visa consultancy agency in london or you can apply at the ukrainian consulate in edinburgh to apply through vfs global in london you need to go online to their website and fill the visa application form after this you need to book an appointment online also to go to their office in london and submit all your documents physically to apply in edinburgh through the ukrainian consulate the best way to go about this is to go on their website and get the email contact the embassy requesting for you to have your application process there you will fill the application form on the consulate's website and also you should get an appointment to submit all your documents. Once you've completed the application form and booked your appointment, you should receive a notification confirming your application and also another letter of appointment. Before you go for your visa application appointment, you need to get some documents ready. The first document you will need is your printed and signed application form. The application form which you filled online, you need to print it, then you need to sign this application form and bring it along to the visa appointment. You might also be required to show a letter of appointment, so it will be nice for you to have a copy of this also. The next document you will require is your passport. Make sure that your passport is valid, at least with 10 months validity on the passport. If it doesn't have up to 10 months, it will be better for you to get a new passport before you make your application. You will need one passport photograph. This should be a professional passport style photo and not a printout. So it should be about 3.5 cm by 4.5 cm in dimension. The next document would be your letter of invitation that has been issued by the Ukrainian Ministry of Education. Bring the original of this invitation letter, not the uh, printout. This needs to be the original one, the art copy of this letter which you received in the post. The next document will be proof of medical insurance covering your stay in Ukraine. For this visa application, two medical insurances will be required. 
the first one would be an insurance to cover COVID-19 and the second one would be a normal health insurance. Both insurance policies should provide at least uh, 30,000 euros or equivalent minimum coverage and it needs to be valid for the duration of your visa which is 3 months minimum. According to the guidance document you will be sent by meddling students, it is advised that you get your COVID-19 insurance from Ukrainian insurance companies. You can visit the website visitukraine.today to get some Ukrainian insurance companies that covers COVID-19. The main important point here is to make sure that the insurance you're getting would cover a equivalent of 30,000 euros or above. The second insurance you can get from World Trip Student Secure and you can go for the Smart Plan. It's a cheap insurance which you can get as your second health insurance coverage. Also make sure that this offers you up to 30,000 euros or above. Select the cheapest option of this plan which is the Smart Plan and make sure that it is obvious how much the medical coverage is for. If it is not on the insurance receipt then print out the policy so that when you get to the embassy they could see that you have met their requirement. The next document will be proof of sufficient funds to cover the cost of your stay in Ukraine. This is usually about 3 months bank statement which should show a balance of 5,400 US dollars or equivalent. It might be different so it's best for you to contact the embassy to make sure that this amount is right at the time of your visa application. If the bank statement is in your parents name or your guardian's name, they need to provide a letter saying that they accept the responsibility to support you financially during your stay in Ukraine. This letter must state their names their relationship to you and that they will be financially responsible for you throughout your studies in Ukraine. Outside all the documents you'll be required to bring to your appointment, you will be asked to pay a one-time embassy processing fee which is usually around £348 for a UK applicant. VFS Global might also charge an additional fee for processing your application. And also, if you like your passport and your documents to be posted back to you, you can come with a trackable poster order which is addressed to your home address. VFS Global offer this service where you could pay a small charge, I think £38, to get your documents posted back to your home address. Once you've been to your visa application appointment and you've submitted all your documents, your visa will usually take about 10 working days for it to be issued unless the embassy or VFS Global has told you otherwise. This visa will be valid for 3 months which is around 90 days so you need to go to Ukraine to register and apply for your residence permit within these 90 days. In Ukraine, you will apply for your residence permit and this residence permit is valid for the duration of your stay in Ukraine. So in conclusion, I will just give some tips in relation to your visa application. The first one will be to start your application early because it might be hard for you to get appointments around September-October time due to the amount of people that will be looking for appointments at that time. So the earlier you get your appointment sorted, the better. The second one would be about your passport photograph. If you would not like to go to a studio to get your passport photograph taken, you can always download a picture app on your phone and take your picture against a white background. Then you could get them printed online or you could go to a photo printing service like Asta or Tesco and you could get them printed for about 50p for four copies of your passport photograph. You would need more passport photos in Ukraine for your residence permit application so make sure that you print more photos so you will have enough to take along to Ukraine when you go to apply for your residence permit. Choose to pay monthly for your medical insurance. This way you will only pay for one month because when you get to Ukraine you will be given an health insurance that would cover your stay 
in Ukraine. So once you get to Ukraine, you can decide to cancel your insurance policy from the UK. Once you apply for your medical insurance, you should get an email confirmation and this is what you will need to print out and take with you to your visa application appointment. Also remember to click the um, box that says that the coverage is for 30,000 euros. This is the only way in which your uh, insurance would meet the requirements for the visa application it needs to be at least 30,000 euros or above so you need to make sure that while applying you have clicked the box that says 30,000 euros my last tip would be to choose a 90 days duration while applying for your insurance this is because it is charged per day so if you choose three months which is more than 90 days then it will be more expensive so make sure that your start date and your end date is for the 90 days period within which your visa would be valid so that pretty much concludes everything about the visa application as i said earlier please make sure that you go through the guidance document that you be sent by medlink student so that you would have the accurate information needed at the time of your application Thank you very much for your time. My next video would be on your application for the residence permit. So please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, like and share my videos. And I will see you in my next one. Thank you very much. Bye for now.